Hello, welcome to another Robotil training video. In this video, we will be looking at how restaurant tables and tabs work. Log into the restaurant module and click on the tables button. Your restaurant floor plan will be displayed. In your floor plan, you can add objects like doors, walls, fountains, toilets, pay points, and more to make it easier for your waiters to select the correct tables. Tables that are open will be displayed in gray and the word, open, will be under the name of the table. Tables that are in use, will be green. The cashier and waiter that is working with that table will be listed. It is possible for another cashier or waiter to take over the table. If a specific customer has been linked to the order at the table, the customer name will also be listed. If the cashier and waiter for a specific table is the same person, then only one name will be displayed under the table name. To add items to an open order, the waiter or cashier can simply click on or touch the table on the floor plan. It is easy and quick to switch between open orders by simply selecting the table you want to work with. To start a new order, click on Tables and select the table. The currently logged in cashier will be linked to the order. You will be prompted to select the waiter that will be working with the table. You can also let waiters select their own tables by entering a PIN or scanning an employee card, but we will get to that later in this video. In some setups, like bars, it will make more sense to use tabs instead of tables. From the floor plan, click on the tabs button to open the tabs window. The waiter must first be selected as only tabs for that waiter will be displayed. Unlike table names that are fixed and can only be changed in the back office, the tab name is linked to a specific order. The waiter can therefore choose a tab name that is descriptive and will help him remember who the order is for. You can also choose to only use tabs. The table screen will then be replaced with the tab screen, but more on that later. From the tab screen, the waiter can open new tabs or add items to existing tabs. When the customer pays for their tab and the sale is completed, the tab will be removed from the tab list of the waiter. It is possible to view or select tabs from other waiters. Click on the Show All Tabs button. The waiter will be asked to call a supervisor or manager to authorize it. Open tabs from other waiters will now be displayed. Let's have a look at how to set up the floor plan and more options in Robotilt back office. Click on Setup and Settings, Settings, and then Restaurant Settings. We will start with the floor plan. You can add new objects or tables or make changes to existing ones. To make a change, select the object and enter the new details. To add a new table or object, click on New and enter the table name. The width and height is a percentage of the total screen size. You can enter a number from 1 to 100. New objects will be added to the top left of the screen. You can then just drag them to the desired location. Once you are done, click on Save Layout. Now let's look at some more options for tables and tabs. When you select the cashier is the waiter option, the waiter selection will fall away as each cashier will also be the waiter. This option is useful if you let each waiter use their own till or money bag. The waiters can still use the same till point, but each waiter will log into their own till session. The table or tab allocation with a PIN will force each waiter to enter their PIN or scan their employee card when a new table is allocated to them or when they want to view and work with their tabs. Confirm Waiter ID with Table Allocation will force the waiter to enter his PIN or scan his employee card every time a table is selected. 
This will prevent waiters from working on each other's tables so that each waiter can take responsibility for each one of his tables. Cashier must enter PIN when completing sale. This option will force the cashier to enter his PIN or scan his employee card when payment is received. This option is useful if waiters add items to their own tables at the computer, but you only want the cashier to be able to receive money and complete the sale. Allow cashiers to take over tables. With this option, an order can be started at one till point and completed at another till point. The sale will be moved from one till session to another. If this option is not selected, it can still be done, but manager authorization will then be required. When you select only use tabs, tables will fall away. The tables button will be replaced by a tabs button and the restaurant floor plan will not be displayed. Use this option if you don't want to use tables at all. The use default table option is discussed in detail in the training video, how to set up Robotil for a takeaway. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss upcoming videos.